Hi, I'm Nadia J, and this is Media Spotlight UK, and we are in the Trocadero at Yoski with the lovely Egypt. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for coming to have a chit chat with us. Uh, we're going to just discuss what you've been getting up to. We've been delving into your life, basically. Like, I've got yeah. questions for you. Just be ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> okay, cool. So, first and foremost, um, you've said that some of your major inspirations are people like Aretha Franklin, mm -hmm. Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. um, how do they influence your music musically? How do they influence you? Um, I would say, growing up, obviously, um, all my family used to do was just play that music around the house. So they would wake me up on a Sunday and we'd be listening to Aretha, mm -hmm. Whitney, yeah. you know, before we get ready for church and stuff. And um, they were definitely gifted. They were given something back then that made them stand out. And I think it's very different to the artist today. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why I think it's different is because when they stepped on stage, they had this presence. And this presence, not many people have, as you know. Uh, thank you very much. So um, I think to channel that um, nowadays, um, it has to be God given, I believe. Um, and I really do believe that God has put something in me um, that makes me just, um, I feel, stand out um, in a good way and just, you know, just promote positivity. And um, I always sing about uplifting, you know, uplifting spirits and uplifting yourself and just good, good music. And I don't really want to follow what anyone else is doing. I really just want to just stand out in the right way and and be that person that someone needs to look up to and to be inspired by rather than just be that person that oh she looks sexy or yeah. she looks this or she's you know she's hardly got any clothes it's not it's not really about that it's about good music and um yeah and, and we're glad you're making it yeah. good stuff okay so <laughs> it's been a hot minute since you burst onto the scene in yes, 2009 yes, yes. with in the morning if you didn't know um major major big kind of um exposure into like uk music in that respect into funky house yeah. into um like kind of the, the merge between garage into kind of house into funky that yeah. that was a, a great time for music when you came out yeah. um what have you been up to musically? We know you've got a new track called Stand Up. I'm up on my music, I know what I'm talking about. What have you been doing in the middle? How Can, can you bridge the gap for us, Egypt? 100%. Um, there's a lot of bridging. Yes. There's a lot of <laughs> to talk about. Um, yeah, where can I start? Um, basically, after In The Morning, it was pure just touring. Yeah. So I literally toured um, the whole of the UK. Um, it was amazing. When people talk about they're only touring for two weeks, I'm talking touring for over a year. Like seriously, on like on a, yeah, on a different level. And um, obviously because it was my first single, um, I didn't have, um, I would say I didn't have much experience in knowing that, you know, you have to come back with a next single and make sure that it's hot and make sure that the album's ready because all you're doing is constantly just performing, constantly doing shows, interviews and that kind of thing. So I had to take some time out um, and really work on my craft and work on the type of image that I wanted to put out to the public because I was like literally catapulted, got signed to Virgin, catapulted into the media spotlight. Um, and obviously we got a top 10 single with um, I've Got Soul, that was a charity single and everyone was on there like Pixie Lot, um, Tinchy Strider, Chipmunk, who else? Um, yeah, get the girl. So, yeah get there were so <laughs> many people, like Bashi was on there as well. Um, just so many great UK artists and I just felt very honoured to be um, a part of it and then obviously that was that was fantastic to put that to my name obviously in the morning was number one on the dance charts as well for like how like months. Her, yeah months, months. basically um, that was that was an amazing achievement obviously won awards as well like the urban music award best newcomer um, and performed at UK funky there's so much to talk yeah, about yeah there's that. a lot yeah I know You're bridging the gap nicely. serious performed at UK Funky Live, um, won Best Female there as well, Best Newcomer. Um, and to perform in front of, I'm sure it was like 12,000 people, it was an amazing achievement. That was one of my dreams to perform at Wembley Stadium and to know that it was my first year out, my first single, and God bless me that much, mm -hmm. I was like, wow. Do you think that you kind of, because you did so well, did you almost set yourself a standard that you thought, oh my gosh, I have to now be no. above and beyond this no, or no, no. to be honest with you um when for me when i create music um i don't think about what everyone else is listening to honestly yeah. i just make good music yeah based on you 
that's it mm -hmm. that's all i can ever do i think that when you start chasing what you've done before or chasing what everyone else is doing that's when you get lost yeah no one we don't need any replicas out here mm -hmm. like everybody needs to be individual and doing their own thing and i'd like to think that when people hear my music it's egypt you don't hear someone it, else you yeah don't hear like KD, you don't the, hear do you see what i mean you just hear egypt she's bringing you something and it's for you whether you like it whether you don't it's it's, it's good music mm. and um so anyway after that <laughs> um i released i think the next single was called believe hold your head up very uplifting song um and it's about when you're feeling low like you just have to believe in yourself and know that you was born to do better mm -hmm. um and the producer on that track um he actually does the majority of wiley's stuff now ah okay so he done heat wave he did heat wave yeah and he did and on, what um, was the one I, 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 can yeah, I yeah, yeah 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 so um his name's ryan's by the way yeah. and um so he's done exceptionally well i'm very very happy for him um and then i went on to do wow oh you build me up so you build me up came out and it's like a 80s kind of soul kind of house kind of vibe yeah. and it had um um sound boy on there so sound boy released never want to say now never want to say was like I sh i'm sure it was like a it was either number one or number two in the charts like I don't know how many years ago, but it was a big, big hit. Mm -hmm. And um, he's he's influenced the UK scene in a major, Amazing. major yeah. way. Yeah. And um, I love love Soundboy. He's he's a brilliant producer. So anyway, that particular song um, did very, very well, and it took me on tour to Africa. Wow. Yes. So basically, I went to Ghana. I did a tour out right there. Mm -hmm. I went to Nigeria. Like literally, went all around. I, Im imagine, and it was sponsored by Vodafone. And um, it was just one of those experiences where I've touched the motherland. That's all. Um, You've been busy. Yeah, like, this yeah. isn't bridging the gap. This is like a book. This is amazing. <laughs> like, I'm like, just bridge the gap for us. Just tell us what you've been up to. That is amazing. Seriously. And Seriously. you've you've obviously worked on your craft in a sense that it's mm. specific to you. You know where you want to go. And like you said, following other people isn't going to get you anywhere. And sometimes it's not about the visual fame. You, like you said, you've touched the motherland with just being, being, being able to create music. So we've been talking about names. We've been name dropping. Yes. Uh, any UK artists or any artists in general that you're collaborating with that you want to let media spotlight know about? Any cheeky collabs? Wow. Um, well, because this album has been, you know, anticipated for so long, I don't think I should spoil it. Okay. I think that Fine. I should. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think I should right. save it. But I may have worked with somebody that I've name dropped already. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, very, very successful artists. And some that nobody even knows. It's not just about the name, it's about the talent yeah. and what they're coming with. Okay. And um, and that's very, very dear to my heart. And I wanna make sure that what I put out to the world is something that can live on forever, not just something that will just be here for next week. Yeah, and then we're done, or and then you've got to six out months. One. Do you see what I mean? I really want this to be a body of work that I'm proud of and that can just change the face of music. I'm not in this for no. Yeah, not I'm, I'm here to be You're a legend. That's, Hello. It. That's, That's it. That's it. That's what we like to hear. Um, speaking of the album, mm -hmm. can you let us know when it's coming out roughly? In about four to five months, okay, please God. Long. Yeah, not long. Yeah, not long. And um, I want to release at least two to three singles before we drop the album. So yeah, you'll be a busy be couple of months. Exactly, it? a busy few months I would say. Um, just make sure everything's consecutive, make sure the videos come out on time mm -hmm. and just make sure that all the promo is done yeah. and people are receiving me well. Many people don't know that you're an, a fashion entrepreneur in your own right. I um, want to make sure I'm getting the name of your collection okay. right. It, it, is it Ave West? No, it's EVA West. EVA. Nearly. Yeah. EVA West yeah. by Egypt. Okay. Yeah. What and how and why? And can you explain in as much intensity as you did about the music, what made you want to do the fashion? Yeah, because we're going to be here for a minute. Um, what inspired you to get into fashion in the first place? Um, as much as I do music, I do fashion. Um, I've been designing since I was about, I made my first pair of leggings, I would say, when I was about 11. Wow. And I made them by hand. That's amazing. Yeah. Why are you still wearing leggings then? This is it, but I made them. <laughs> but I 
it made like, them because I wanted something. to go out with my sister. Yeah, and, and I wanted and to look wanted different. To look. Yeah, I just okay. wanted to look and stand out different. She was going to some party thing, like just like in the park. Mm. Where was I going about leggings? Making leggings on the way. Yeah, there. so um, basically <laughs> that was the start of something. But in my family, remember, um, a lot of our um, like parents or grandmothers, they sewed. Yeah. Just, 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 yeah, just for a hobby. Ev- yeah. Exactly. They could also they could all do some form of trade in that yeah. sense. And um, it was definitely passed on to me. Um, and my mum bought me a sewing machine. Um, and I just began to sew. And every event um, that I've done, the main events like um, award shows and like the MOBOs and all these kind of things, um, I wear, wear my brand EVA West. And um, I just think it's very empowering. It's very, um, the, the outfit stands out. I always use like bold colors. Um, and it's very unique. If you've seen me and you, you think, oh, her dress is nice, nine times out of 10, I'm wearing my brand EVA West, yeah. Excellent. Um, I don't really want to make a comparison, but are you going to stick to the fashion or are you going to merge them with the music? Are you going to continue to do both as seriously as the other or is there one that you prefer more than the other? I think, um, obviously, Music is my first love, and I, th- I think that fashion um, just kind of merges together because you have to look, yeah. you know, and dress and stand out in a yeah. certain way. Um, I would say right now I'm concentrating on my album, I'm concentrating on my singles, and definitely putting my foot forward in that respect. With regards to the fashion, um, I really want to put out great clothes, I really want to. Um, just make sure that you know I don't lose what the essence is of EVA West. So I'm building a team um, and just making sure that that team can look after the brand, the house of EVA West. So that, you know, as long as I continue to just design the, the outfits um, and make sure I do all my samples and then they can take it on and yeah. create. So stepping away from the music and fashion, let's get to know Egypt. Yes. Um, do you have any celebrity crushes? Um, Yes, I do. I like Boris. He's from How To Be A Player. Okay. I don't know his surname, but he's, he's very handsome, okay. very nice. And Vin Diesel oh. from Fast and Furious. I love his deep voice. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I've got any. I think mine, my, I'm not loyal. Like one minute it's it's Drake because he's got a new song. <laughs> Next minute it'll be Chris Brown because he's got a new video. Like wow. I don't, I'm not loyal at but all. You have to love Chris Brown. Do you, do you know what? I lo- he's such a package. He's that's the word. He is, he is, and he doesn't age. He doesn't. I do. I've got a soft spot for Chris Brown. I know, and I just feel like he's nowhere near at the end of his career. So. Oh no, he's just right at the beginning. Literally, literally. he is. He's at the beginning. Yeah. All right. So we agree, Chris Brown. Yes. yes. Um, okay. Um, has the lovely Egypt been to Egypt? Oh no, people what? always ask. Everybody <laughs> in my family, all my friends have been, but I haven't. haven't. This is really You've been bad. Too busy. I will go. Let's I have to. It. I'm going to meet up with you soon and be like, how's it going? Near the pyramids, next thing you know, they were just like, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. (laughs) I haven't been (laughs) Egypt either. I do want to go to Dubai, though. Listen, I want to go. Dubai is meant to be beautiful. We're going to play either or. This is my favourite game ever. Okay. It is either or, though. See, when I play this game with people, they tend to do the, oh, I want both. No, it's either or it's or. Okay. Okay? (laughs) I'm being all rude. So I'm obviously going to give you a choice of two things. Yeah. And it's one or the other. Okay. Yeah, so we get get to know a little bit more about you, even though okay. we've, we've, we've dug you. We've done a lot. We've done a lot right. of digging. Okay, so Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Okay, this is easy. Yeah. Night in but or... that's not to say no. if a deal came along, Pepsi. Yeah. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi was all right for Beyonce. It's all right for us. Uh, <laughs> night in or night out? Night in. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, dinner or dessert? Dinner. Okay, manicure or pedicure? Pedicure. Yeah, because I can do my nails myself. That's always what I think to myself. I'd rather a pedicure. Um, heels or flats? Heels. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I already knew. X Factor or The Voice? Okay, I'll explain. Um, I think X Factor um, has had its time. Yeah. I feel like The Voice have definitely come back stronger this year. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with... Now. I'm going to go with the voice. Yeah. 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 And for a singer as well, like it's mm. it's very much focused on what they sound like and Definitely. it's yeah. They did really well this year actually. Very it feels very innovative. Last year I feel like it wasn't It wasn't ready. I think this year it's definitely um has something a bit more, just yeah. a bit more 
essence and a bit more. Yeah. yeah, we love it. Okay, WhatsApp or BBM? It used to be BB, exactly. but as you know, it's now WhatsApp. It's WhatsApp. I'm afraid. Who would have thought of the day that I BBM... Remember, we used to love BB. Literally, when the upgrade came, like, oh my gosh, I've got new faces and yeah. stuff. Now it's just like... I know. But it's all right, never mind, WhatsApp one. So no. BBM is just like dying out. Okay, old school garage or funky house? Oh, well, I come from funky house, but I grew up on old school garage, so. so which one? Oh! I oh, know! <laughs> I love doing this. Well, I would never be where I am if it wasn't for old school garage. All right, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, I'm an old school garage girl. Okay, let's go a little bit old school again. Barbie or Cindy? Barbie, hello. Yeah, hello. Cindy. Cindy was market. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pedal pushers or stretch jeans? <laughs> stretch jeans. I only had one pair of pedal pushers. Uh, I'm sinning. I did have pedal pushers, like in lots of different colours with little flowers on the side. Just, yeah. Wow. No. No. no, no, no. Egypt's like no, girl. Strictly stretch jeans. Um, Will Smith or Jamie Fox? Oh, Will Smith all yeah, day. All day long. Yeah, no. all day. Jamie's cute, but Will Smith, man. Love me some Will, man. Yeah. Um, train or tube? We were discussing this earlier about how much we dislike either or. Which one do you prefer? Um, the tube because you don't get blown away as much. <laughs> <laughs> you do your hair in the train, just yeah. Seriously, over so not. underground, not overground. Um, yeah, underground, yeah. definitely. Cool. Um, lights on or lights off? Lights on. Mm. I know how I'm packaged, baby. Mm. <laughs> you need to see all of this. That's what you literally <laughs> It's funny because when I interview males, I'm always like, um, I say breast or leg, and they look at me and I'm like, I mean chicken. And they're like, oh. <laughs> but I can't ask you that question. Uh, Kanye or J. <laughs> okay, let, I'm, I'm back. Woo. Kanye or Jay Z? Um, Jay-Z for lyrical content, Kanye for just being an extra, <laughs> just an extra just dessert. Whatever he drinks, I want two cups, man. Kanye's that guy. Okay, last one. We're going to, no, actually not last one. I've got two more. Christian Dior or Christian Labouton? Christian Dior all, yeah, day. all day. Yeah. yeah. Them shoes hurt, man. Seriously. They, uh-uh. they are, I'm not going to tell you what I call them, Ooh. but... Never. Off air. I'm not too Yeah, no more. No, no more. No. Too much. They will damage the foot. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. No. Not good. The science of the shoes is not. No. Okay, are you a in the morning kind of girl or you're in the evening kind of girl? In the morning. All day long. I have to be. Not even because of the song. I have to be because in the night time, I just start getting tired yeah. and start... Start that early. Though, yeah, right? that's it. So yeah, I'm definitely in the morning. Aww. I'm all bouncy, bouncing off the walls and stuff. And so were we when we heard that track. So oh. thank you for talking to us, Egypt. We have a little prezi for you. This me. is a t-shirt from Moneybag um, oh. Fashion Brilliant. Label, and uh, so it's a little bit hot, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah, it's very cute. I want I like one. It. I want one. So where can we find you, Egypt? So you can find me on Twitter. It's Egypt Official. You can find me on Instagram, Egypt Official again, and on Facebook, Egypt Music. What about the um, the fashion? Uh, what yeah. about the website? So, oh yeah, my fashion um, website is www.evawest.co.uk. So yeah, check that out. Oh, yes. I will be. And uh, you can also check out me, just Spotlight UK as well on Twitter, and myself, Nadia underscore J-A-E. And thanks for chatting to us. Thank you so much.